Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 12th of July 2024. First chart is the US Dollar Index Futures. You can see that the market is threatening to break down. These two tests for supply here, the test for supply and the secondary test for supply, are likely failed tests now and can be treated as weakness in themselves. Lows of the range come through here, pretty much right at the 104 level, and the market is flirting with a breakdown below that level. It's threatening to do so. It's not yet a clear breakdown, but it's certainly threatening to do so. Volume increased this week, although the previous week was a shortened trading week. Further weakness in this market would see this level tested for strength and perhaps this level as well, which is about 101. It does seem unlikely now the market will reverse and move higher, at least in the near term. So you're going to get trading around the 104 and possibly a breakdown below it. This week's weakness has certainly given a tailwind to many of the associated markets, as you'll see as we move along. This is the E-mini S&P, S&P 500 index futures. You can see the market after dipping lower and consolidating through here, pushed back up to this level, consolidated right at the level for three weeks before pushing higher again. This week seen the market trade with a reduced spread, volume increased to about average, so it was genuine trading. The close was about mid-bar, this suggests that some supply has been drawn out of the market this week. There's been some selling pressure encountered. We just have to wait and see what the response is to that. It will generally be a test for supply initially, whether that's early in the week or for the whole week, as the market's done previously, sort of back here with a very narrow spread bar. You can see the market's done this previously before as you work your way along. That said, if there's continuing weakness in the US dollar next week, this market may just continue to float higher in response. So just be aware the trading in the US dollar will play its part in this market as well. 10-year note futures. 10-year note futures floated higher this week. I say floated higher because volume was still below average. Remembering the previous week, was a shortened trading week. And this week the market has moved higher with relative ease on a lack of selling pressure rather than real intent by the looks. Above that is a complex low through here. I expect there'll be some supply drawn out at that level. That may cause this market to test for supply. But we'll just have to wait and see. I do expect that if the market pushes above that level, there will be some supply encountered up at this level. Copper price futures. Copper price futures attempted to support back here and for a couple of weeks did so. It dipped lower for one week, closed off its low, then accelerated higher last week in response. This week, the market's tested for supply above this level where the market initially began to consolidate. Volume was well below average. It was increased over the previous shortened week, but it was well below average. That suggests as the market moved lower within the range of last week's up bar, very little selling pressure was encountered. And that leaves the market well placed to make an attempt to push higher next week particularly if the US dollar continues to show weakness. Gold price futures. Gold price futures have traded really nicely recently. It's been a good chart to read. It's made good sense. You can see the lows of the range were established down here, the highs of the range through here, and the market's pushed up for three weeks in a row now. Volume was likely excessive this week, maybe a little bit of over-enthusiasm in the market. Perhaps the intent was more to move up to the highs of the range here around the 2400 level. 
that suggests the market might need to come back just a little and test for supply and consolidate in here. Once again, that being said, further weakness in the US dollar will probably see this market continue higher to some extent, perhaps with less intent, and then the period of consolidation will take place higher in the range. Silver price futures. Silver price futures traded in consolidation mode this week, just below the highs of the range here. This was what was expected last week after price really pushed higher with some intent the previous week. So this was a nice response, a consolidation up high in the range. And this leaves the market well placed to push higher in response when trading conditions are favourable. Light crude price futures established their lows down here. There was nice consolidation, a one week shakeout. There's a breakdown line that's pretty important that comes through here, catches the lows here as well. Price moved above this level last week, and this week's moved into consolidation mode above this line, above the 81. That may prove to be significant and suggest this market is showing some underlying strength. Volume increased to average, so this week's trading was genuine. There's no anomaly. And the fact that price has consolidated above the 81 level, perhaps is significant for the future and suggests this market is showing underlying strength. Euro US dollar currency futures. The market pushed higher this week and even closed slightly above this intermediate high we've been looking at. Spread wasn't particularly wide. There was some testing for supply early and price pushed higher, probably with the weakness in the US dollar more than fundamental strength in this market. If there's continuing weakness in the US dollar, you will see this market float higher. But at this point, it's not looking like it's moving with much intent. It's going to float higher, if anything, on a lack of selling pressure rather than serious intent to move higher. British pound currency futures. Here was the highs of the range we'd been looking at. You can see this market has really accelerated higher with much more intent than the euro has shown. Volume increased to about average, so it was genuine trading. And this market is showing some intent and further weakness in the US dollar will probably see this market move higher with an increased spread when compared to the euro. Japanese yen currency futures. Here's the lows of the range that were important. The market dipped below that but didn't really show any serious intent to move lower. There was some buying support emerge last week. Price has pushed up this week to some extent, but it's only pushed up in the easy bit. This is the easy bit here below the breakdown line. I expect there will be some supply encountered if the market attempts to continue higher from here. And if there's further weakness in the US dollar, this market will float higher. However, I do think it would be with reduced spread, at least initially, because the market will need to absorb any supply drawn out from the left. Aussie dollar currency futures traded higher, but with little intent this week. You can see the market tested for supply below the previous bars close initially, and then it's effectively floated higher on reduced volume Remembering that the previous week was a shortened trading week, this week was a full trading week and volume was actually slightly reduced. The markets floated higher on a lack of selling pressure in the market and not necessarily any serious intent being shown. This is the next level higher up here, just above the 68 level. Further weakness in the US dollar will likely see this market move up and test this level but I don't expect it will be with any widespread or on any serious volumes 
this market is just floating higher on a lack of selling pressure. Bitcoin futures. Bitcoin futures did not reverse this week. Here was the breakdown line. If the market was going to recover quickly, it would have closed back above this level this week, and it hasn't done so. It's remained below this level and traded in consolidation mode. Yes, there's been some buying support emerge, but the volume suggests it wasn't strong buying support, and there was no intent to carry the market higher. Price remains just above this level, which is the old secondary breakdown line. This is the old all-time highs of the range. This is the highs of that range. This is the secondary breakdown line. The market did attempt to consolidate at this level before it did break down further, and the actual consolidation took place around this level. That's the centre line of the consolidation previously, and perhaps accumulation. So now you've got the highs of the range up here. The market's broken down below where the market was finding support previously. Last week, it broke down. This week, the market is trading in consolidation mode, attempting to recover from the ordeal of breaking down. It's sitting right on top of this level here. There is support expected down through there. So if the market needs to dip lower, there's further support down to that level. A clear break below 50,000 would be a serious negative and probably see the market down around these levels. But at this point, the market broke down last week. It's trading in consolidation mode this week. It's less likely now to immediately attempt to recover. And if it does so, I expect it will encounter some supply being drawn out from the left here. So at this point, the most likely response is for the market to trade roughly sideways down here on top of this level, the old secondary breakdown line, and just consolidate for a while and recover from the breakdown below 60,000 before there's any really serious attempt to move back above that level. If the market did attempt to break above that level too early, you probably find it'll be rejected unless there's real serious buying support in the market. Back to the US dollar index futures quickly. It's pretty obvious what's going on. Here's the highs of the range. Here's the lows of the range around the 104. These two tests for supply are effectively failed tests for supplies now and can be considered weakness in themselves. This market hasn't clearly broken down at this point and it may attempt to hold on at the 104 but a clear breakdown in response will likely see the market down at this level, testing it for strength and possibly down to this level if not enough strength found at the 102. Okay, thanks for your time. Enjoy the weekend. See you next week. See ya.